Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video here on the channel. And today we're going to continue on yesterday's local rankings video. And I kind of want to do a new kind of mini series. It might be about five videos long, something like that. But what I want to do is talk about the logos that I want to change and kind of what my, where my head is at what I'm thinking in terms of what kind of artistic changes, uh, color changes need to happen for these logos. And today we're going to be starting with the LA Kings. So they were ranked last number 32 out of 32 in the NHL. And the reason why is because as you could see in this photo, it is just a banner. The banner to me is completely unnecessary. I understand how you have the LA in a stylized font. It's quite unique. The font does look cool. I do like the font, but I think having the entire primary logo with this font on their jerseys, their home and away jerseys, I think it's completely unnecessary. And let's just go through kind of my ideas for what I think should happen and it's something that you've already probably seen if you're interested in all these jersey concepts but here we go this is the logo they had I believe in the 2000s I'm not sure when uh, they changed it was probably uh, to 2010 2009 kind of that time when they changed to their current logo what they have right now like this looks okay you know I'm not gonna say it looks perfect because it it's not the best in logo in terms of ha being a primary standalone logo for the LA Kings but what this logo does to me it just brings back so much nostalgia and so many memories from when I was when I was playing, you know, NHL Slapshot, um, NHL, just seeing this logo in the games that I was playing and like on the TV. I remember Andre Kopitar back in the day when he was first starting on the league wearing this. Um, you know, it's just to me the purple elicits something more, more of an emotional response. And so I think the purple is a really important element. I don't know about this logo, as I said, but I do think it's a good place to start for the Kings. And now this one, I believe they brought it back for the reverse retros. It was either the first reverse retro run in 2020 or it was this past one. But I do think this logo is a really good logo. It has Los Angeles Kings right there. The word mark is exactly kind of like the LA Lakers, which is a cool uh, nod to the NBA and all that history there. Um, and it is the banner. I agree. I agree. I think the banner, you know, it, it looks better in this version because it's more of like a container. If you didn't have the banner, it would just be a bunch of loose elements with the crown, with the, the stylized font. So I think the banner is definitely necessary in this logo. But in terms of the colors, the colors are just amazing. You know, the colors just do something for me. They do something for a lot of NHL fans. You just look at the brightness of the yellow and then the coolness of that purple uh, kind of contrasting it and the crown also that's a good crown as well uh that's definitely a different version more old style than the one we just saw but i do like this and here it is against a white background so this is something you might see on the away jersey with the white and the white the purple and the gold and next i kind of just did a quick uh little cutout on Photoshop but you know here it is on an orange uh sorry a gold background kind of thinking about an alternative jersey so it looks good I think it still looks good I don't know about adding another gold 
uh, team. We already have Nashville. We already have the St. Louis Blues who brought back their yellow jerseys. Uh, I don't know how receptive the fans will be of a gold jersey. So I don't know about this, but I still think it does look pretty sharp. Next, we have a little bit of a purple going on. This could be like a home jersey or it could be an alternate jersey. I do think purple on purple does work. Obviously, this would need a lot of edits. Doesn't look, uh, you know, finished product at all, but it's just an idea of what it might look like. And now next, this is another logo that was uh, from back in the day. Is the coat of arms logo, and I believe they use this as a shoulder patch on those old 2000s jerseys, uh, along with... Um, along with uh, the regular crown logo. So this logo is good, although I wouldn't really be so enthusiastic about having a coat of arms logo kind of like this. I think this one is an all right design. I just don't think it's a perfect design. But, you know, this is a kind of design that they could do instead of having just a banner and doing an actual coat of arms with a bit more symbolism on it. But I don't know if this is the perfect hockey logo. That is the only issue for me. And now, uh, these are just some, like, aesthetics concepts. So I kind of grabbed these from aesthetics.com. If you know their YouTube channel, definitely check them out on YouTube. Um, they make some great, great videos. I definitely recommend uh, visiting their channel. And these were designed by Christopher D. Silbernagel. Okay, so I like the general idea. Now, I don't know if I would use that crown logo on the Home and Away set, but I do think uh, switching to those bands on the arms instead of uh, the weird kind of piping what they have, like they have currently, I think switching to that would be a good idea. Uh, and that alternate, the purple and yellow alternate, it is a little bit uh, old school. I don't know if they would have those, uh, I don't know what you call it, those things running down the arms completely. Uh, I don't know if they would bring that back. Uh, that's not a look that I personally like. I know that the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets all also have those uh, running down the arms. I don't know if it's the best look for the LA Kings but in general I mean that logo just looks a lot better than that banner with the LA on it just think about it I mean it's a better icon the colors are way better even this crown logo on the black and white jerseys I think is a better option than what they have currently so and then we have these these are the alternate uh, jerseys that the Kings have worn, I believe this season, I believe that last season, uh, they look great in my opinion, I love the actual uniform set as well, I like the chrome, the buckets, the chrome buckets as they're called, I think they, that's a nice touch, I like the reflective metallic uh, silver uh, on the jerseys, as you could see there, that little detail that makes it kind of sparkle. I think that's kind of a cool idea. And I like the general shininess of this Kings logo. Uh, I just think it looks way more vibrant, way more like an actual hockey logo rather than kind of a boring banner. That's how I see it. I think the banners are just boring at the moment. Uh, so I like this kind of direction that they were in. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to end this video. That's just, we're just talking about kind of ideas for uh, different logos to replace the ones that they have currently. I'll probably do other teams as well uh, in the future. Uh, so check out for, you know, a few more videos. But here's the Kings. I hope you guys were inspired. I definitely was. Uh, I think what they have currently just isn't good enough. And these, I mean, they already put this jersey out. It's already better than what they have currently. So, I mean, yeah, that's it. That'll wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.